He sneaking us quickly back. Right. I had a request last week, actually, before I got ill, <clears throat> from Marley in the US. It's having trouble burning an ISO using Weary 5. Now, we're in Weary 5 here. Obviously, we're in VirtualBox at the moment. But I'm just going to show you how to burn an ISO in Weary 5 without actually downloading any extra program. Of course, you're going to have to have a DVD drive, oh, sorry, a DVD recorder or CD recorder as your CD drive or DVD drive. Otherwise, it ain't going to work, is it? But of course, most people have them now. So we're assuming that you have a recordable drive for your optical stuff, okay? Now, she wants to burn an ISO, okay? Now, what I've done, if I go to File and I go to My Documents, in here you will see the Weary 5.3 ISO. Okay, so I've downloaded the ISO ready to burn. Now remember, I'm not going to actually burn it, but I'm going to show you the process we go through to actually do it. All right? And it's very simple, by the way. Simple. Just like me, skimbles. Anyway, we go down to our menu. I'm going to open it up there. It's nice and quick, where isn't it? Really, really quick. And we go to Multimedia, and if you look down here, you will see Burn ISO to CD. Burn ISO files to CD and DVD. And that's the baby we want to use, okay? Now we're going to use a CD here. But if you want to do use a DVD, that'd be a waste of money, wouldn't it? So... We're just going to say, yes, we're going to use a CD or a CDRW, but I prefer you to use a CDR, a throwaway one, and not a recordable one. I don't find the recordable ones, sorry, the rewritable ones, are that actually, you know, reliable, shall we say. Okay, so we're going to click OK, because that's the baby we're going to do. And of course, we're using VBox, or VirtualBox 2, so this comes up as my driver. And this it actually does work, so, so I'm not going to put a blank DVD or CD in, but hey. But anyway, we're going to click OK there. Now we're going to go and find our ISO, which is in my documents, okay? And there it is, and we highlight the file and click OK. Now you get a choice of a normal burn or a multi-burn. Now multi is still experimental, okay? So we just want to go for normal, okay? So you click on normal, and then you can choose what speed you want. Now if you've got an older machine and not too much RAM, go for 8 speed or 6 speed. I know it's going to take a long while, but it's going to be a more reliable burn than if you do it at, say, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, or whatever like that, okay? Then all you do is click OK, all right? Now watch this, ready? Okay. Now you see that little orange box flash up there? Now when it's burning, that will start there until it's finished, okay? So we're saying it's finished now, because that's all you have to do. It takes about five minutes, I suppose, maximum. You can verify the burn if you want to. Now, if you're you know, not sure, click yes, and it will ask for the, C the CD again, and it will just check it to make sure it's burned correctly. But as we haven't actually burnt a real CD here, I'm not going to do that. Okay. So we just click no. That's it. You might have heard my CD drawer just click out, and it's popped out. Yes, because it's thought I had one in it, which I haven't. Now, that's basically it. We're finished. Or if you want to burn another one, you just click repeat, put another blank CD in or DVD, and off you go. And you click finished. And that's all you have to do. There's nothing else to it. Super of the duper. Nice sneaky quickie there. Sneaky little gang out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.